Hi friends, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another JavaFX video tutorial. In this episode we're going to look at the JavaFX accordion control. An accordion is simply a group of titled panes. I covered the title pane container in episode number 30 of this video series. For anyone who needs to go back and review that, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Only one titled pane can be open at a time. The titled pane content in an accordion can be any node, such as a user interface control, or it can be a group of nodes added to a layout container. There's just one warning that I have for you with regard to the accordion and that is do not attempt to set the minimum height, the preferred height, or the maximum height as unexpected behavior could occur as the accordion's height changes when a titled pane is opened or closed. Let's create and configure the accordion control. As usual, I've already created a JavaFX project, and the code for this project is based on our standard JavaFX program template. The code for the template as well as for this current accordion project will be available on GitHub and I'll post a link to both of those in the description below. You can think of the accordion as similar to a toggle group for radio buttons. The toggle group for the radio buttons groups the radio buttons so that only one of them can be selected at any one time. The accordion groups several titled panes such that only one of them can be opened at any one time. Creating an accordion is the same as creating any other JavaFX control. We specify the class name as the type accordion. We specify a variable name, accordion in this case, and then we invoke the class constructor, new accordion. There are two different constructors. One, the default constructor with no arguments simply creates the accordion with no content. And the second actually specifies the titled panes at the time of creation of the accordion. I'm going to use the default constructor. Then we're going to create three titled panes and then add those titled panes to the accordion. Since we've already covered the titled pane control in episode 30, I've also created a method to do most of the heavy lifting or the creation of the titled pane and its content for us for the purposes of this demo. It's a simple method and here it is. It's called create titled pane and it accepts a string which is displayed on the titled pane. It creates four buttons with icons and these are four icons that I've created. Very simple icons. I've created them in a program called Inkscape and they're simple shapes. A circle, a square, a triangle, and an octagon. And I've added those to our project. Circle, octagon, square, and triangle. We're also using the FX Utils class to create buttons with icons and we've seen that in past videos. It simply creates a button with some text and a graphic based on the icon that we pass to the method. And we put that in the utilities class rather than litter our code with that every time we want to create a new button with an icon. So we take the four buttons, the circle, the square, the triangle, and the octagon. We put those in a vertical box and then we add the vertical box to a titled pane and return the titled pane to the caller of this method. And let's see how we would use that. Titled pane, titled pane one equals create titled pane. And the title for this titled pane, I'm going to use employees. And I'm going to copy and paste that twice more because we're going to have three titled panes in our accordion for this demonstration. I'll change the variable name to titled pane 2 and titled pane 3 and the titles to cost centers and departments. Now that we have created our titled panes, we're going to add those to our accordion. Accordion dot get panes dot add all and it'll be titled pane one, titled pane two, and titled pane three. Now 
now that we've added content to our accordion, we will add our accordion to the left section of our root, which is a border pane. So root dot set left accordion. And the rest of the code is part of our standard template, the setting up of the scene, the adding the root to the scene, the style sheet, the setting of the title, and setting the scene on the stage. So let's run at this point and see what we get. Well, and one thing I forgot to mention is I've also added a, a section to our style sheet. We'll just take a quick look at that for the accordion. And it's very simple styling. I've given it a five pixel padding all the way around and I've changed the background color to slate gray. And that's where this slate gray color comes in. So you'll see the three titled panes and I've misspelled employees. So being a little OCD, I'm just going to go back and change that. Run it again. We have the three titled panes in our accordion. At this point, they're all three collapsed. If we expand one by clicking on the triangle, you'll see we have the four buttons with the graphics, the circle, the square, the triangle, and the octagon. Now, the content is not really germane to what we're doing here. The content could be anything. It could be a single note. It could be a bunch of things as we have four buttons in a vertical box, whatever your program actually needs, and that's totally up to you. The point is, is the accordion allows us to group several titled panes and allows only one of them to be open at any one time. So we've opened the employees, and within the employees you see the four buttons. When we expand the cost centers titled pane, you'll see that the employees titled pane is collapsed automatically. And the same when we expand the department's title pane. The cost center's title pane will be collapsed automatically. And one other thing that I wanted to mention. If you want to expand a specific title pane, either when you start the program or at some point during the running of the program, there is a method for that as well. It's accordion dot set expanded pane. And let's say title pane 2. Now when we run, the cost center's title pane should be expanded. And it is. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like as it helps with ranking of my videos in the YouTube algorithm. Also consider subscribing so that you don't miss any additional videos when I post new content. Thanks so much for spending your time with me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.